Now you probably already know that you can connect a range of Pi Top sensors like buttons and LEDs to your Pi Top using the foundation plate or the expansion plate. It's simple as just having it on a cable here and you plug it in the side, it's as easy as that. But what you might not have known is that a Pi Top is also fully compatible with Grove sensors. Now, if you've not heard of Grove sensors, they're made by a company called Seed Studio and they're a huge range of sensors, everything from LEDs and buttons to moisture sensors, humidity sensors, as well as things like particulate matter sensors so that you can detect how much dust is in the air. And all of these sensors are available to use with your Pi Top. And I'm gonna show you how. So this is an example of a Grove sensor. This one's a moisture sensor designed to be put in soil to detect how moist it is. Now, normally, the way this works is that you have a hat that goes on top of your Raspberry Pi with some special connectors, and using a cable that they provide, you just connect it up to your sensor, into the hat, and then you plug in your Raspberry Pi, program it up, and off you go. Now, as we've covered in a previous video, Pi Tops are compatible with all hats, so if you want to, you can attach that same hat to the top of your Pi Top, which is what I've done down here, and in this one, I've got a moisture sensor connected to a plant. Basically, the idea is the moisture sensor is here in the soil, and if it detects the soil is too dry, which I'll simulate by removing the moisture sensor, this little red LED comes on to warn you that it's too dry, and then you can water it and it'll go off. And of course, it's worth saying that if you want to, you can do a mix and match of Pi Top sensors and Grove sensors. So instead of this red LED from Grove, I could use my red LED from Pi Top. It's the same kind of thing, but just a slightly bigger LED. In the middle here, I've got a slightly more complicated project. This one is my home weather station. So this one uses high accuracy temperature, humidity, and pressure sensors. That's these ones here. And these are connected up over I2C into the foundation plate. And then on the front here, I've also got a Grove LCD display, and that's showing uh, temperature, humidity, and pressure. And then finally on the top here, also from Grove, I've got one of these little fans. And the idea is that when it gets too hot, this fan turns on to cool you down. Now I've rented some high-tech scientific equipment to bring the temperature of the room up enough to trigger that. So let's give it a test. And when it reaches 30 degrees, it should turn on the fan. And there it goes. And then finally on the left-hand side here is my favorite of these projects. This one solves a problem that I've been trying to solve for ages, and I think I finally got it. It's very elegant and very simple. This is my bath water level sensor. So picture the scene. You've just started running a bath, you want to go and do a few other things because your bath takes 10 minutes to fill to the top, but how do you know exactly when it's got to the top? Well, the idea here is this has one of Grove's water sensors, and this will detect when the water level comes to a certain level, and when it reaches that level, a very loud buzzer will sound to let you know the bath is run to the level you want, and it's time to go and turn it off. So to simulate it, I've got a watering can here, and I'm going to fill this up. Okay, so now it's filled up to just beneath the water sensor, and now I'm gonna fine tune it with this little baby watering can, and the idea is that just as it hits the sensor, it should turn on that alarm and let us know it's time to stop filling the bath. And there goes the alarm. I could definitely sell this thing. Didn't actually design a way to turn it off though, so I'm gonna end the video there, but all you need to know is that you can use Grove sensors with your Pi Top, and you can build pretty much anything. Whether you should is another question.